Hey guys, welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk to you about a couple or actually a few new baits that you have to add to your arsenal this spring. Oh yeah. This is my kayak. Get yourself one. Fish on. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Look at that tank. That's a toad, brother. Golly. All right, so I was turned on to a company called G-Rat Baits by UFC legend and a good friend of mine, uh, Clay Guida. Initially, they sent me a couple of swim baits and I was blown away. I've used them over the years and really love them. But now they got some new stuff that I got to share with you. And listen, as fishermen, we're bombarded with new stuff in fishing. But these two right here are, are, are hands down standout baits in my opinion. So this is basically a, called the Proper Buzz. It's a combination of a prop style bait and a buzz bait, but it's got a, uh, a, a crimped loop in it, so it's not gonna open up, but it comes right out of the package with just a really nice squeak to it. You ain't gotta hang it off the window, you ain't gotta hold it out the window, you ain't gotta do nothing but throw it. And this thing right here is quality, set up for big fish, comes in a bunch of different cool colors. The one I'm really excited about though is this dude right here, it's called the Fighting Fish. And it comes with three skirts on it, you can interchange the skirts, and Garrett will tell you more about it in the video, uh, but it's basically like a wake bait if you hold your rod tip up. It's a shallow diving crankbait if you hold your rod tip down. Uh, you can pair it with uh, a bunch of different trailers. I've got one of my favorite trailers out there, the Yamamoto uh, Zako on there. I do have all three skirts still on it. You can pop one skirt off. You can pop two skirts off. You can pop them all off and match it up with a big swim bait body and pretty much make it weedless. So this thing right here is called the Fighting Fish. Again, it comes in a bunch of different cool colors. I grabbed two of my favorites right here and, and look forward to really putting this thing through the paces. If you fish anywhere there are bluegill and brim, you know that they're great forage for bass all year long, but especially around the spawn because they're nest raiders, they become public enemy number one for bass. And honestly, I don't know that I've come across a better uh, brim bluegill imitation than these guys right here. Now, in addition to carrying great swim baits and these new guys right here, they have a series of frogs that are unique. Honestly, to say that a frog is unique is a big statement, especially as, as many models and modifications as, as there are out there, but it comes with quality hooks. It's got a little seep hole on the top for you to flush the water out of, or like I like to do, draw a little bit of water in. Uh, it's got the belly weight welded in, so the belly weight's not gonna come out. You guys know how frustrating it is to spend your hard earned money on a frog and then the belly weight pops out. And then it's got a really hard nose with a welded loop and through wire construction. This thing right here is gonna catch a ton of fish. It's got a great action, comes in a bunch of cool colors, so check out their con frog. They also make a really sick bladed jig. And you know, the market is somewhat saturated with bladed jigs, but what's cool about this guy right here, it's got a slim head profile, the blade articulates, and it's got an articulating hook. So you can basically rig it with different style baits. Again, I've got this one right here rigged with, again, one of my favorite trailers, uh, the Yamamoto Zako. Uh, again, you can put your paddle tail style baits on here. You can put a straight fluke. You can put a, um, you know, a billy goat from Z-Man, whatever you want to dial this thing in. And what's cool about it is it comes with a split ring so you can change the hooks out. You can go from, you know, the four aught that comes standard down to a three aught for a smaller, you know, profile, you know, up to a five, six, or even seven aught if you want to put a bladed jig out in front of a bigger swim bait. But guys, listen, that's my quick overview. I'm going to turn it over to Garrett Dixon and Clay Guida and let them tell you a little bit more about G-Rat baits and what went into developing these lures. Check it out. I am at the G-Rat's booth here at the Big Rock Show in Nashville, and you can't really film at this show. It's kind of a dealer only deal but as people are boxing up and as these guys are about to put their stuff away i cornered my good buddy clay guida and garrett here from g-rat baits and we're going to run through three or four of their best creations and then i'm going to try to uh, twist clay's arm so we can get an early look at some stuff he's got in the works so so garrett walk us through what you got in your hand right there and then give us a couple of like of your best products and what people should look forward to from G Rat Bay. So what you got what you got in your hand right there? So this is our proper buzz. This is a through wire designed frame with the twisted line tie. You won't open that up. So on no more needing a, a split ring for the R band or any of that. Right. And a heavy so it's braid. Big fish approved. Yeah, big fish approved. An inch and seven eighths blade. You can hear the squeak on it. Um, we got a tail spin back there as well. So you got a dual sounding bait, you know, you got that and this going at the same time. It's really gonna put out a lot of commotion, make a lot of noise. Um, the fish go wild on it, so they eat that thing. And how many colors heavy. does that thing come and in? And we got this in six colors. So we got it in the black, wow. 
black and gold. With the gold blade, and then we got the bone, standard bone, and then we go ahead and got a Cause I mean, you gotta ghost, throw in the bone. Ghost minnow, yeah. natural shad, and then we got it in that chartreuse shad. Get a little sexiness. So Sweet. we got a little of that. The next hot product that we have, this is our con frog. This frog has got a hard nose on it. So okay, stop real quick. Because you know as well as I do, everybody's gonna be like, another frog. So tell me what's different about this frog over the other frogs that are out there. I've heard you talk about it at the show, but I want you to really get into what makes this frog different. This has got a hard nose on it. It's a hard composite nose. And what that does in itself, it eliminates the frog from sliding up the line or down the hook like you all know you have problems with frogs doing. The other thing this frog has is a 6X 5 aught hook that's actually built and clevished through that line tie that's an extra four millimeter long. So we made it to fit the body and it's got a welded tie. That is a welded line tie, not crimped. We also took rubber cement and rubber cemented the weights in the bottom of these. Weights blow out so easy on frogs. This frog, the weight does not blow out easy on. It makes it really nice for casting um, with it, with the heaviness a little bit easier to get in and around and out of cover. It's heavy to make indents on the big mats. We got our breathe hole on top. It's a great frog. It so listen, it I'm going to tell you something. Walking that, it really easy. I like these breathe holes, but what I also like about them is if you want to cast this bait further or if you want it to set a little bit lower in the water, you stick it under the water and let it draw in a little water. So yeah. then you can cast it further and it sits a little bit lower in the water and creates more of a bulge. So that's a, that's a genius little twist that you guys put on those frogs. So All right. thank you. Thank and you. guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been using these frogs, but not wanting to talk about it because it's kind of been like my my secret because of that dude right there <laughs> so anyway and we got it in six colors we got it in a white and green we got it in a natural brown a chartreuse shad a bullfrog and a white so, and of course the black and the black. we got and we got the black you know that so that frog there should be the ultimate workhorse um, we wanted a frog with also our material. It's got a good texture material. It's not the new rubber that's just so soft the fish tear it up. I can catch a hundred fish on one frog and it's like popping a jig out of a mouth. You take it and you don't have to mess with it. You can pop it out and go back to fish and get it done. Perfect. So now then, talk to me about this new little creation you got going on right here. Well, this here, my partner Hank created, this is a fighting fish. What it is, it's a hybrid between a crankbait and a swim jig. We love crankbait fishing, but you lose a lot of fish with treble hooks. So we were always like, man, if we could get a top hook in there and we could have something. So what we do, we took a skirt. We love a jig with like, you know, a swim jig look with a crankbait appeal. So we went ahead and did that. You can pair this bait with any trailer you want on the back of it. And it'll kind of alter the action. A thicker trailer will give it a harder head knock. A thinner trailer will keep it a little more subtle. And I'll so for show those you big, how these real quick, for those big swim baits that you end up tearing the nose up on, yeah, you can yeah. actually just cut that off with a pair of scissors, work it onto this thing, and now you can turn this thing into a monster bait. Well, and you can also, if you want, to take the skirts off, you can pull the skirts right off of our, our skirt holders here. Um, I don't know which way it's going. Here we go. So you can pull them right off the skirt holder. These are your skirt holders and what you could do, you can take a swim bait and thread a swim bait all the way up there and you can kind of cut it to fit and you can have a swim bait with it by itself. Here's how we put the baits back on though with your skirt. Oh, it's, so you can reuse the skirt. Oh yeah, and it's sold with three skirts. We have a skirt on the center, on the hook, actually on the top keeper and the bottom keeper. I like to take the center skirt off the hook and I just like to run one skirt there on the top just kind of seat it and push it down in there and then I take the other skirt here and you just kind of hook it through there and then you just push it right on over like that I'll grab a little ink pen and so realistically if you wanted to you could mix and match the skirts you could create your own custom creation and that's what we did it for because we know that people like to alter their baits and mess with their baits say you like that but you wanted to uh yeah like a blackhead with a red you yeah, know, skirt you, you or a, a red, red head right. with a black skirt. You or, can simply take the skirts off like you just saw me do and put whatever colors you want on it and whatever trailers you want And on. who doesn't like taking a skirt off? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's baby. Me, we all like to take skirts <laughs> off. Oh, you're good. We know so, this guy right here is guilty of it on a pretty regular basis. Oh, I would never <laughs> say, I would never ever think that in my life. So we also have a jerk bait line coming. So down the way here, we have some jerk baits. This one here color is gonna be sauce. So what it is, it's got a real tapered head. That angle of that head super, super tapered. We put a downsized bill on it, which makes ripping it 
effortlessly. It'll get down four and a half feet on six, you know, six, eight pound test, pretty easy. It's got a real light rattle in it. It's not a big hard knocking rattle like a 100. So between the middle, it's not silent. Yeah. And it's not, so it's that it's perfect kind of pitch. It's got it's got that nice pitch. So we got that coming down the line and then we ended up and, having and then, some stuff that he Last got. but not least though, so I'm gonna say, if, and, you, and you, you're more than welcome to tell me no, but Clay showed me something when we got to the booth that's the new, yeah, I'm gonna go the ahead gills and color, right? The, yeah, the gills and thrills ahead, color. And and so Clay, why that. don't you go ahead and pull those out from the existing G-Rat line so we can give people a sneak peek at the old, uh, the, the Guida custom color. What, what you got, my friend? Guys, you know what they say, new year, new baits, and we've been holding on to these bad boys for quite a while now, but the wait is over and we finally want to introduce the new G-Rat Gills and Thrills Guida custom colors. We got the Guida Sexy Shad right here with what I call the war paint on the eye and the Guida Citrus Shad. Now, we had advice, we had help coming up with these color schemes that we came up with, but we wanted a, a professional's opinion. So, uh, Jimmy Houston, one of my favorites, helped us out when I got to meet him at ICAST last year. We had advice from the guys at Tactical Bass and they were huge, huge help on this. And um, we left it up to the fishing world to come up with the name. So we are finally doing our press release right here at the Big Rock Show. So, so when do these things hit the, the market? Wait a sexy shed. These are all available now. You can actually get these baits now. Here's his packaging. Got a nice, cool packaging. It's also got his company on it, Gills and Thrills with Guida. You can, uh, Sweet. So okay. tell everybody where they can find out more about g rat baits, how they can order, and uh, yeah, go from there. Just um, take us can, home, my friend. You can go ahead and get our baits on our website if you wanted to. You can also buy them through Tackle Warehouse, Tackle Tech, Fisherman's Warehouses, Bit Sportsman's Warehouse, um, lots of mom pop shops all over the country. Um, pretty much anywhere you name it, you're gonna find them. And then you know where to find that guy. So check out the new Gills and Thrills custom Sexy colors, shad. citrus shad. Yeah. Guys, you know what we say, Gills and Thrills of Guida? Come for the gills, stay for the thrills.